welcome to Naresh I Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to be talk about blocks. So, here before going to talk about block concept, let me give a very fundamental point related to Java coding. If you want to write any logic in Java, mainly we are always preferred four blocks. One is static block, another one is non-static block and the third one is constructor and fourth one is method. To write logic in Java, we are using four programming elements, four programming elements. Those are, those are static block, another one is non-static block, another one is, third one is constructor, fourth one is method. So, like this we have four uh, separate areas within the class level to write the logic in to developing the program in Java language. So, Abjay here. So, let me start with uh, static block. So, before going to talk about uh, static block, let me highlighting what is a block? What is a block? A block is one area or one scope, area or one scope to hold the logic, to hold the logic. Block means a one separate area or scope to hold the logic. How to design, how to design block in Java language by using open and closed curly braces, open and closed curly braces. So, the space between the space between open and closed curly braces technically we can call as what block or we have some other terminology also that is comes under what here body. Now, here all the static block and non-static block constructor and methods all are sub block of class block all are sub block of class block this is what block. So, what is the main usage of this block? to hold the instructions or to hold the statements, to hold statements, maybe one or more, maybe one or more. So, if you take any block in Java language, we are always prefer to write within the class itself. So, here I am taking one class like block demo. Now, in this uh, uh, class, I can able to write all the four blocks. The first block is static block. The first block is static block. How can we write this static block? Static keyword and open and closed curly braces. Open and closed curly braces. Yeah. Next one. The next one is non-static. Next one is non-static or instance block non-static or instance block. Sometimes uh, these two blocks static and non-static block we can also call as what initialization blocks also that we will see. Now, a block which does not containing any name that is comes under what here non-static block. This is very useful to develop to develop anonymous inner classes and one more thing is constructor. The constructor same as class name here my class name is what block demo. So, here I am taking what here third programming element like uh, constructor and a fourth one is method, fourth one is method. Let me take one method like uh, void m1. So, like this we are always writing logic within the static block, non-static block, constructor as well as what here method. So, each and every uh, block having its own advantages and its own priority. Uh, different blocks will doing what here, different different functionality according to our requirement, but all those things we need to write within the class itself only. So, now uh, let me start the concept like static block. Now, observe here static block. This is sub block of 
this is sub block of class. So, what is the main intention of the static block? Static blocks to use to hold the logic. The logic must and should be the logic must and should be common for common for all common for all and uh, this logic always executes always executes only one time only one time and also with the help of static blocks we can able to initialize initialize the static variable initialize the static variables and also it is used to register the drivers it is also used to what here register the drivers this is belongs to jdbc concept so what is static block here it is one sub block of a class block it is going to be hold the logic the logic must and should be common for all it is always executing only one time so after that it is also used for what initialize the static variables as well as what register the driver so how to create static blocks syntax as static block so let me write let me take like a class demo class demo in this demo class we have static block static keyword and open and closed curly braces here we are going to be write some logic here we are going to be write some logic yes so what is the a uh, main a uh, uh, intention of the static block in the real world for example what type of code we are going to be write within the static blocks so this is what one mission this is what one mission this is one atm mission atm mission so whenever end user whenever end user wants to withdraw the some money withdraw the some money first he is going to what here atm center so whenever we are going to the atm center first it will asking to it will asking to select your preferable language select your preferable language like it will asking like uh, telugu english telugu english and as well as hindi so how many times this option is going to be asking by the atm mission to end user exactly one time so this type of uh, things we are going to be right uh, asking to the end user selecting the preferable language by the end user that type of logic we are always writing within the static block so whatever the thing which are which which is i highlighted uh, that is uh, common for all selecting the preferable language uh, language is common for all how many times we are going to be selecting only one time so selecting this language is one logic that we must and should be write in the static block how many times it is going to be executed exactly one time is it individual one or common for all common for all these type of things we are going to be write uh, within the what here uh, static block sometimes uh, some adm missions asking like uh, for security purpose uh, enter two digit number enter two digit number so here what happen here everybody is say facing this what uh, this functionality so here i'm to enter like a 2 and 4 and after that clicking on confirm button so this type of logic also we can able to write within the static blocks and sometimes whenever we log in into the any website it will telling like uh, welcome for example i am enter into one website like uh, amazon.in assume sometimes it will showing like uh, welcome to amazon welcome to amazon or welcome to some other uh, uh welcome to uh, sbi online transaction welcome to sasa um, banking transaction so it will showing a display message showing to display message to all the end user is what uh, common 
and how many times it will uh, telling like welcome to some xyz application only one time so this type of logic we are always writing within the which block here static block so mainly static block is going to be hold the logic the logic must and should be common for all the people and it will be executing only one time now this block must and should be write within the which block here class level block okay now up to now we are giving some conclusion about to sub block sub block of class block and it is going to be hold the logic the logic is common for all always executing only one time in the next video i'm going to be highlighting how to initialize the static variables with the support of static blocks that concept we are going to be learning programmatically i hope you enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe narayshetty channel thank you